Hey everybody, what's going on? Froggy Stallings here. Nothing I say is financial advice, entertainment purpose only. Excuse my puffy face and voice. I just woke up from a nap uh, to see that the Cineworld Group was up 20% today. It's been up and down, up and down, up and down all over. But just today on a really bad market day, it's up over 20%. And it's funny because considering, guess you know who is in the UK. Adam Aaron went to the UK to pay respects to the late queen. AMC owns London-based Odeon Cinemas Group with the largest movie theater chain of Europe. I'm in London today. We stand with our UK colleagues and customers on this day above all days when history is present on this momentous afternoon. 70 years of service. Rest in peace, ma'am. Paying respects to the queen over in the UK. Magically, Cineworld gets 20% pop. Um, maybe some type of offers in the works. So I tweeted out. Uh more ape and amc ftds being generated this week with the downside of the market which we can see here ape and amc just taking a freaking beating today it's absolutely egregious what is happening to the stock i do believe they're generating more ftds this week meanwhile cineworld is up over 20 percent did adam aaron make a buyout offer we have not heard about yet bankruptcy stock pop on buyout news guess where cineworld is located the hq is in the uk brentford uk so my theory is here, maybe he's just over there trying to secure the rights to Regal. And this is beautiful, and my buddy Swing Trade Mars made a good point. If they decided to buy out Regal in some type of merger, some type of reverse merger, forward merger, that could give Adam Aaron the rights to recall AMC and Ape shares in some sort of fashion, which would cause a massive massive squeeze on some parts of ape and uh, definitely amc after ape has been liquidated and they pay off debt so just an interesting quick little video adam aaron in the uk paying respects to the queen uh little idea we all know he was talking about buying out center world for for months i mean he's literally tweeted about it i mean here's some tweets right here a Canadian court just ruled that Regal Cineworld, our largest competitor in U.S. Europe, must pay one billion U.S. dollars in damages over the failed Cineplex merger. Will be appealed, but anything distracting or destabilizing our biggest competitor brings opportunity to AMC. And then August 18th, yesterday, Cineworld Regal, our next largest competitor, issued a fairly bleak prognosis for its term performance liquidity. By contrast, at AMC, we're quite optimistic and confident in our future, especially so because of our new Ape security. So he's been talking about it for a while. I think he wants Regal. And I will tell you right now, it's near and dear to my heart because in Albuquerque where we have, we have a mass of people in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I mean, we have more people than this city can handle. And the city just keeps expanding out and out and out with more homes. The two main theaters in Albuquerque are Regal and uh, other off-brand theaters like, um, Brew flicks, brew pub, brew pub theaters, but Regal owns the rights to the malls, man. So if Adam Aaron could get his hands on that and get an AMC theater central in Albuquerque, we have one in the state of New Mexico and it's 30, 40 minutes out that way. So if we could get central um, property right here in the middle, the mall is packed. The Cottonwood Mall is packed every single weekend, almost every day. He could absolutely make a killing at the Cottonwood Mall in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Anyways, that's all I got for the day. My earlier video, I covered what I think is going on with the SPY, the overall market. <clears throat> I do not believe that the rate hikes were priced in properly, especially if he does 100. We see these crazy, I call them, I call them raging dragons. Uh, but these runs and these gaps, runs and gaps, that's a bad sign that this is getting ready to dump. In my personal opinion, I've seen it multiple times. It did dump today. My puts went back in the money. I think with a 100-point rate hike, and you can see RSI is corrected a little bit. We're getting ready to drop more. If we get a 100-point rate hike tomorrow with the bad housing market data we got today and Canada's bad CPI inflation data, this very much well could, in my opinion, take a shot at the 350, 370 again, 360. If it fails to hold that line, if we dump and it smacks that and fails, then it's right back down to 330 for the retracement of this big bull run after the pandemic crash. Potentially possible. I'm not sure it's going to break 370. It's going to be really hard to do. But if they really, really want to crash this thing, 
they could take it down to 330 and reset all their positions which is fine with me because my put will print like crazy anyways that's all i had hoping amc gets a chunk of that regal cinema theaters uh property real estate be really awesome be really good for the coming up q4 and the coming up 2023 you want to want as many locations open as possible anyways you guys have a great trading day i'll see you tomorrow frog stonks out